Hi, I'm Tinika Everard, and thanks to eatoutadelaide.com.au, I get the fabulous job of sampling some of Adelaide's best restaurants. So come join me as we explore Adelaide's finest cuisine, starting off in Glenelg. Europa by the Bay is located on Busy Jetty Road. It boasts casual cafe meals with great coffee on one side and restaurant dining and a bountiful wine list on the other. And with the beach only a few steps away, you can't go wrong. We're here at the beautiful Europa restaurant in Glenelg and I'm joined by Michael who is the head chef and Tom who is front of house. Welcome guys. Yep. Now uh, we've got the red wine here, we've got celebrations. Can you tell us why? What are we cheersing to? Well, Today we are going to drink the Browns of Pathway Shiraz, they're very good friends of ours, um, supported us, you know, we've been here today, is seven, seven years, and trying to do a bit of Shiraz. Cheers seven to years. Are you proud? Like, I am proud, you know, I love this place, um, you know, I call it my second home. I've always been into like making seafood, so I've always liked all the like, soft cardo, which is one of the main signature dishes. Um, a lot of the past dishes which I've enjoyed making and I've learned how to make their traditional way that they've enjoyed making over the years. So just started getting back into sweets. I haven't done sweets for probably seven years, so sort of getting into sweets, you're gonna try one later. And what would you say is the key thing between making a good meal and a great meal? The time and the effort, uh, the quality of the product, uh, the passion, the passion. passion. Mm. I can tell you guys obviously have a lot of passion for food. <laughs> no. So tell me, Tom, a bit about the concept of Europa. Um, well, my sort of background is uh, coffee, and uh, I've always made coffee since you know, I was a little boy. Um, Travelled over Europe when I was younger, um, Italy and uh, stuff like that, so I learned how to make coffee there. I uh, got into coffee roasting at a place called Savas House. Just the method of our coffee making is um, like a traditional uh, barista competition. So the way you will enter in a competition, that's the sort of standard I've created here. Uh, it's just a casual uh, dining, you know, have a quick focaccia, so it's on the go. I've always liked you know, formal dining, and so we've created the other side, which is for the serious diner that likes to sit down, be waited on, and you know, get really good food, and obviously get a nice cup of coffee at the end of the flight. So tell us a bit about the menu. Everything that we use here is natural. It's fresh produce from, it's all local. So, you know, we get all our scallops from Kangaroo Island. We get our prawns and mussels from Port Lincoln. Um, you know, so Coffin Bay oysters. So that's what we thrive on is, you know, freshness and good quality of food. Michael over here makes our gnocchi nice and fresh. And it's, some customers call it uh, pillows of heaven, so heaven. Yeah, they are soft and uh, very delicious pizzas and you know and we have at the moment just created a fantastic dessert menu which we'll try, you're obviously going to try one later and uh, good variety and great coffee. <laughs> now there must be a little bit of healthy competition be between you two being back of house creating the restaurant dishes because uh, this, this place definitely does have a feel of you've got cafe and you've got restaurant which is fantastic, you've got the best of both worlds but there must be a bit of healthy competition between you boys. Now I'm going to ask you to make me up a little something from Europa and I will judge out of you two guys which one is the best of the day. Do you think you're up for the challenge? Of course. <laughs> Very easy. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful, I look forward to trying it then. Wow, what is this? Okay, now this is my favourite coffee dessert we could, ooh, we could, we could call it. Um, it's uh, an affogato. Affogato, yep. But what we do is, with finishing touch, you've got to have a bit of a liqueur. So ooh. Some frangelica. Wow, okay. So we've got a shot of coffee, basically. Yep. Pour onto your vanilla homemade uh, gelato. All right, Michael can have the, he can take the credit for that, what well, I'm Mikey. <laughs> and what we do is pull a little bit of frangelico, but you always got to leave a little bit for afterwards, you gotta have it on its own. Oh, All right, well, you, wow. you tell me what you think, you try it first. This sounds like the best of both of them, really. It is. All it right. Is. I can't believe you haven't tried one. That is absolute heaven. It's gonna be hard to beat. So beautiful, tell me about it. Well, I want 
once again, we've got our homemade gelati that we actually make, which is a blood orange gelati. Oh, wow. Um, with the actual panna cotta, because it's actually a pistachio panna cotta. So we've actually made our own panna cottas. We've adjusted it, played with it. We've got it right. So now this is how it ends up. We get in these little pairs. We get someone to peel them all, so they're all nice and small. So Lucky person to get to that job, huh? Someone has to do it. <laughs> so then we poach them off for a good couple of hours in a nice port that we actually get from our local place in Clarenville. Yep. And yeah, we actually make that's it. Well, we're going to try it. Ooh, breaking of the mold. It's got a real um. Flavor. Yeah, we do use a bit of nuts in it to bring out the flavour. We um, make up our own paste and we mix it through the panna cotta, so it's actually naturally made and yeah, it makes it taste better. Absolutely delicious. Well, I think I have to be the luckiest girl in the entire world right now, getting to choose between two delicious desserts. And I, I've got to say, I can't decide. I'm going to have to come back next weekend for a rerun. This suburb by the bay is where great eateries meet a great location and the award-winning Bay of Bengal serves fabulous Indian cuisine in the heart of it all. I'm here with Del, the owner of the Bay of Bengal and he's here to tell us a little bit about how he got started. So hi Del. Hi. Tell us, um, how did you come to own this gorgeous restaurant? <laughs> well, it was just by a pure accident that a friend of mine that I used to work at some years back uh, suggested he was going to start this restaurant and then drew, drew away from it so I thought well maybe this is an opportunity to start one uh, because I enjoy curries and my wife introduced those curries to me when we first met and she, uh, I thought well, why not and uh, but once you start eating curry you can you, you get the addiction and you can't stop and, uh, and curries are, are, are a wonderful meal to put together and so many variations of uh, flavours and uh, vegetarian meat, whatever you can think of, you can make into a curry, and it's just a, a wonderful decision. And is it true that the hotter the curry, the better, in your opinion? Well, I do enjoy a hot curry, but yeah. that's not to say that um, you, you you need to go into a hot curry. The um, um, the flavours are really the spices. The hotness is the chilli. That is the only component that will do that for you. Uh, so you can have a mild curry with a lot of flavour and just a touch of chilli. Now, if you go for a, a hot curry, Vindaloo is the one to go for, and that is my favourite. It's exciting. It sounds hot. spicy, doesn't it? Vindaloo. It, it just about burns the palate without trying it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's not for someone who's a beginner in curries to I start would not off with. It to a start. Okay, you mouth build, on fire. You build that up. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Well, it sounds like you've had years of experience building up your palate oh, for that yes. kind of thing. And so, do you, have you visited India before? Yes, yes, a couple of times. Um, my wife and I went to India many years ago, and, uh, and I was blown away by the uh, very the, the wonderful cuisine that they had they have over there. Um, and um, and just recently, we went back again to went to see. And, and get some new recipes, right? Oh yes, that as well. <laughs> Wonderful. And how long have you owned this establishment? Uh, coming up 20 years now. 20 uh, years. Next month is 20 years on October the 10th. Wonderful. And what are you doing for the celebrations? Well, you're um, celebrating for the week of uh, during the week of the 8th of October through to the 14th. And uh, what we'll be doing is uh, celebrating with our customers, our diners and our patrons who've been looking after us for so long uh, with a sparkling um, wine uh, uh, followed by a shared, <clears throat> a shared entree. I wish you had smell a vision at home because this smells absolutely delightful. Now, Belly, you're going to show us how you put together a curry paste for a beef vindaloo. What we have here is are various spices for a dish of vindaloo, whether it be chicken or beef, um, it doesn't matter. So first of all, I have coriander, cumin powder. Now, this is sweet paprika. The, um, I, I've added this in for the colour. Mm -hmm. Now we're down to four teaspoons of uh, black pepper powder, yep. as well as very hot bird's eye chilli powder. Mm. And that's four teaspoons Beware. as well. Don't, don't skim it on the chilli. <laughs> uh, then we have salt. 
Now, brown sugar yeah. contrasts with the salt and the vinegar, which will lay nutmeg. Oh, and I can smell it. That's right. Mm. And cloves. White vinegar. Mm -hmm. And you just create a paste. I'm a little bit of a lazy cook, I have to admit. I probably just prefer to come here than cooking it well, myself. Well, you're most welcome <laughs> so to come here every time. It. I, oh, wow. It looks absolutely beautiful. Oh. That is absolutely superb. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> well, I'm going to dig into the rest of this. Mmm. <laughs> Yum. My face is going a little bit red now, isn't it? <laughs> this multi-award winning restaurant is situated in the heart of Adelaide CBD in a former church office built in the 1800s. The heritage listed building offers welcoming indoor dining and an elegant leafy courtyard, perfect for a private meeting or romantic rendezvous. I'm here with Peter, the owner of Cos Restaurant in Lee Street, Adelaide, and he's here to tell me a little bit more about his gorgeous restaurant. Thanks for joining me today, Peter. You're welcome. So tell me, first of all, I want to know where does the name Cos come from? Well, Cos is inspired by the lettuce that we started out doing, well, as a chef of 27 years and doing Caesar salad for a long time, and yeah. we just thought of this silly idea that we would call our restaurant after a lettuce and then also uh, <laughs> the, the, the little quirky why just cos came into it as well. So yeah. it was really after the lettuce, even though we specialise in steak, but it's, uh, it was, that's, that's the real reason. So. Uh, so you've got a variety of dishes. What would you say would be a must must try on your menu? Oh, look, we get fantastic range of different oysters now that are from different farms. We have a variety of fish that is lion caught that we have available now. We, uh, we have a fantastic young chef who is doing a great menu who does uh, does experiment with different styles and techniques. Well, we, we use whatever is fresh in from the market, which is generally a lion caught fish, and it could be snapper, it could be blue eye trevaler, it could be uh, mackerel, so it is a, a similar style of large fillet. That is, uh, that is seared and crisp skinned and very moist and it comes with a braised pork hock which is a, a unique combination of the pork and the fish being together but that, that meaty, that sticky meat texture of this braised pork hock is really tender and it does really complement the fish yeah. and then there's some celery act that we put through it, so a very silky celery act puree on the bottom some, some braised celery act with it, some oyster mushrooms it's, it's a real uh, balance of different textures so it's been really popular selling great and, uh, and, and it's a, a good experience as opposed to the steak experience, so it's, it's great. Well you've certainly got my mouth watering, so I say let's Just go like check that. out some of those dishes out the back of the chef. Yeah, sure. that Adelaide has to offer and now I'm here at Cos Adelaide with my new friends enjoying some beautiful food. I can't wait to dig in. <laughs> Cheers guys. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh that's beautiful. <laughs> it's kind of like blackberry isn't it? Lots of berries. Lots of berries. Oh, okay now you can film me eating. <laughs> <laughs> You have the chance to win a $100 dining voucher to use at any listed restaurant on eatoutadelaide.com.au. All you need to do is get those creative juices flowing and think of a name for our fabulous restaurant show. So email your ideas to producer at australialivetv.com for your chance to win.